my channel and today's video is going to be a little different it is not beauty related hair related it is more so about something that was personal for me um and i really took the vow to myself i don't want to call it a resolution but the vow to myself for 2017 to be a little bit more open with my personal life um here on youtube so you guys can get to know me and that you know there's some connection there obviously if you guys have already read the title Yes, I have transitioned to a vegan lifestyle. I don't call myself a true vegan. I actually like to refer to myself as a transitioning vegan. A lot of people will be like, well, what is that? It's been about seven months now, and so far I feel great. I feel, I feel great. And um, by no means is this video trying to like pressure anyone to being a vegan like Hey, at the end of the day, I always say, do what's best for you. And so I always get questions, and this is just from family and friends that knew or have known, like common questions like, well, why did you decide to be vegan? Like, what do you eat? Do you miss meat? And it's like, these are legitimate questions because a lot of people who consider something against the norm or not normal they're gonna obviously have questions. And I think that it is important to educate and share for those because I mean, it's like the more the merrier as far as like giving information and getting the getting it across to people so that they can understand and be a little bit more sympathetic to you and maybe why you may not do certain things or use certain things that they have an understanding and appreciation and a respect for you. Uh, for me, I ultimately came about this lifestyle for health reasons. And I know that this is going to be like really personal, but um, I have struggled with fatigue for a very, very long time. Um, I've always like I used to always come out of my mouth like I'm tired like I you know and I wasn't motivated to even do like the littlest of mundane tasks like cleaning my kitchen or doing laundry no like I didn't feel energized to even do certain little things um so that was always in the back of my mind because I'm like I'm not an old person I'm pretty healthy for the most part um don't get sick too often knock on wood <laughs> um so I'm like, why, why am I tired? Like, why do I feel this, this fatigue? And, you know, I, I didn't really like search for the answer. It just kind of is something that I was like, hmm, I'm going to try. Um, so for me, really, my gravitation towards veganism definitely was a health thing. Um, so far, because it's only been seven months, I've dropped about 30 some odd pounds, which is great. I have so much more energy, so much more motivation to just do things. And um, I think that that was the biggest change, the absolute biggest, biggest change, because, you know, to be young and to not be motivated and to be tired and fatigued, like, that was just going down a path of like chronic disease and problems and things like that. So definitely for me, it was, it, it was for a health reason. So other questions that I always get, like, is it hard to be a vegan? I heard that it's expensive. Like, do you miss meat? And it's like, no, <laughs> for me, um, it's not hard. And the transition and transitioning period that I'm still in has been pretty easy because even before then I was not a big like meat eater. Um, I mean, I would do like fish and seafood. I would do some chicken, um, a little bit of pork here and there, but I was never a big beef eater. And even before I transitioned, probably four years before that, I didn't drink any milk. I was not into milk. Now cheese, on the other hand, was, that was my love. It, it really was. But for me, um, it wasn't hard. I actually do remember my last meal that I had meat and cheese was um, my family and I, I guess it was on a Sunday, we went to Zoe's Kitchen and I ordered a chicken pita wrap. So that was lunchtime and that night at dinner I just made the decision like, I'm done. That's it. It wasn't this big like, oh, come, you know, come to Jesus moment or this big epiphany. Um, it, 
I just stopped. Um, actually that night I made my first like full full vegan meal which was kind of like a vegan pad thai which I'll put the recipe down below if you guys are interested. It was yummy, it was great and I haven't, I haven't touched meat since. I have not at all. So obviously a lot of people think like well what do you eat you know and it's like if you alter your thinking and you stop thinking all the things that you can't have and start thinking of all the things that you can have you're gonna realize that that list is much larger than it is and I would say that that goes across the board like if you're dieting um, if you are cutting out things like look at the list of the things that you can't have compared to the list of things that you can't have and you're talking about there are so many different types of fruits and vegetables out there and I've gotten so creative with some of the recipes and with my research and kind of like you know adding things to my repertoire like my two biggest like resources honestly with this whole transition really has been YouTube and Pinterest I have an entire board um, on my Pinterest with some amazing recipes that I have tried that I love and I've even found some really amazing inexpensive and cheap ones right here on YouTube. Let's get off my soapbox now. I'm going to take you guys into my kitchen just to show you some of the things that I have in my refrigerator. I do want to apologize because my refrigerator is a mess. Like it is not organized but I was like you know I don't need to make it pretty. I don't need to make if we are keeping it real and showing people my refrigerator is not always like pristine like let's let's be real like whose is but anyways I digress but I'm gonna take you guys into my kitchen just to show you some of the things that I love that are currently in there and yeah let's do it so sorry that my refrigerator is really really kind of horribly organized but I keep most of my stuff on this shelf here so right now I just have some overnight oats this is just oatmeal almond milk a little bit of cinnamon um, which is great um, you can't have potatoes so I do have some hash browns um, there's some dinner from last night also I do bulk cooking so I'll cook like either a lot of sweet potatoes at once or a lot of brown rice so I keep that in here I have up here some tahini dressing that I made um, and just a plethora of things lemons carrots guacamole obviously I have some kale some steamed kale which I'm obsessed with I'm about to eat this now um, and then I have just uh, it's a crazy crazy stuff. Um, up here this is my only section <laughs> everything else is family like eggnog and you know coffee creamer um, but I have this thing here this is just some cilantro that I have sitting in water that I need to use um, and because I'm plant-based I only use silk so I do love my coffee I got rid of all of my other creamers this is not mine um but the one that i love this is from silk this is their almond creamer and it's in the vanilla flavor it's so good they have multiple flavors so if you do love your coffee you can still do that um i do like to treat myself every once and and again um so i use the silk almond dark chocolate this is great for when i am pmsing and i want some chocolate because all chocolate is not vegan but darker darker the chocolate the better and then lastly for like um you know cereals and oatmeals and things like that i love my vanilla almond milk which is amazing so those are the things that i like to have down here tons and tons of greens um so i have some kale i have collars i have more tomatoes i have um, zucchini there's some squash in here as well everything that i need um, other things that I have are some awesome oranges and bananas. I love bananas. And then over here I do keep um, the stuff that I don't keep cold. So I've got like a ton of onions. I also have some avocados which I love. More cucumbers. These are things that just sit out. Some poblanos. I've got garlic which I love. This lime which I think needs to go. Um, ginger which is awesome we've got some peppers here i don't really cook with those the <laughs> family does and then i have some sweet potatoes here that i love and yeah this is where i keep all that stuff so now going into my pantry um a lot of stuff in here is not vegan mind you i don't eat whistles 
but um, there are some things that I like to keep on hand. Number one is going to be chickpeas or garbanzo beans. This is some great, great stuff. Brown rice, which I think is probably a staple for me. Any types of beans, I like cannelloni beans, um, some diced tomatoes, tomato paste. I have some soups. And I'll show you guys some of my favorite soups. These are the ones from Pacific, or Pacific, I always say Pacific, Pacific um, Organic Vegetable Quinoa Soup, and it is vegan, which I love. These are great for this time of year, because um, a lot of soups and stuff are not. I also do keep some quinoa, which I love. Another thing that I'm obsessed with are these Dr. McDougal Vegan Pad Thai Noodle Soups. <laughs> Amazing. Um, everyone in my house hates these because they smell, um, but I think it's more of the turmeric and the thai. Mm, yeah, turmeric chilies. There is turmeric chilies. There's tamarind. There is paprika and some chili. So I don't think that they care for that combination too well. And also another thing that I would recommend is some chia powder. I like these because you get some omega fatty acids, a little bit of protein, and also some added um, fiber. But if you're eating enough vegetables, you're gonna get enough fiber. Trust. So that is it. This is just some of the stuff that I keep in my kitchen. Um, if you guys do want more like recipes, things that I eat, um, like eat in a day, maybe I'll do a, like a little mini series on that. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and then also check out my other videos. So until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.